one of our judges said that you don't know two words. She's yeah. finished. And it can be. I look at her and I see soccer mom and I see nothing further. Honestly, I thought what? she was someone's mom coming to pick her up on the set. Her shoot was terrible. Today I'm reacting to an episode from America's Next Top Model with the messiest judging panel I've ever seen. And a model is eliminated because of two words. So let's take a look, shall we? Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Good morning. Good How morning. How are you guys doing on this beautiful rainy morning in New York City? I'm okay. We're embracing our new looks. Yes. What we're going to do is we're going to go out on this boat and New York City is going to be the backdrop for your photo shoot. The Brooklyn Ooh. Bridge right there. We had to get a really well-respected fashion photographer, George Holtz, who I personally adore. He has shot for numerous fashion magazines, but he has also shot for America's Next Top Model. If you remember that famous underwater shoot in Cycle 2? That was Unfortunately, George. Unfortunately, so yeah, I do. He knows a little bit about water. Okay, so let's go on the boat. It's looking really ugly out there, and they're going to put them on a boat in the middle of New York City, and that's going to be the backdrop for today. Okay, that sounds great. But I'm suspicious, as always. What's the catch? Are they going to have to fish for each picture that they take? You're telling me it's just going to be a regular photo shoot in a boat? You're not going to have the girls swim to the photo shoot location? I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong and this is just... Everyone has a great day. Okay, so let's go on the boat. Is there food yeah, on this boat? Oh, but you know, there was one thing I forgot to mention. Elle McPherson's here today. She just she just turns around. I was so excited oh, she's to cute. meet Elle. She is amazing in this industry. She's huge. You're modeling my lingerie, Elle McPherson Intimates. And there it is. Ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Lingerie. Mr. J should have opened up this photo shoot like this. Do you remember the photo shoot that we had you guys go into the giant tank with all the the fish that were probably like pooping in the water and we had you open your eyeballs in there? That's the inspiration for today, but instead of an eye infection, we're thinking hypothermia today. Or at least a crushed spirit. And a, a, will, and a will to no longer continue in this competition. So I'm gonna be in this jacket and have fun in your two pieces of clothing. We're gonna be positive, okay? We're, I'm hoping for the best. Let's th maybe it, maybe they will surprise us and this will be amazing. And maybe Santa's real and maybe they will cancel student loans. You're modeling my lingerie, Elle McPherson Intimates. And I really wanted to come along today because I want to support the girls because I've been there. This is a great moment to get all those top model tips to use this time wisely, <laughs> okay? Yeah. I'm already getting a little feet there. What you can do is like, here I am, I'm me, I'm woman, I'm scented, I'm beautiful, and I'm comfortable. Everything that Elmas Ferrison was telling everyone was just, it was so beautiful. She's very intimate with you, you know? Each individual person, she has something to say. Change it to it over here. Okay. Yeah, this looks good on her skin. I like that. Oh my okay. gosh, okay. she's given us like the it's most jacket. helpful advice. You know, just to totally be yourself. I see some... So I see some sunlight. I see some sunlight. I was expecting the worst, but I think things are going to turn around. This is good. This is good. And the girls seem excited, and Al is really being personable with every girl, which is great. The new hair. It looks gorgeous. I feel sexy and confident, and I really want to win this competition. Pretty. Gorgeous. Wow. It's really good. Yeah. Fatima stepped on set, probably a little uncomfortable. And the only thing is, if you're gonna bend your leg like that, let us see it in some way. But in the end, Fatima did a much better job. Today. I love the it light. To be embracing that morning light. Or, yeah. You know it's early in the morning. You see that nice glow, the orange glow. For a photo shoot, one time I woke up at five in the morning. We had to drive to the location because it was an hour away to catch the morning light. It was so worth it. Beautiful pictures, but this is definitely that morning sunrise glow. Let's do it. Beautiful. Great. Yes, there you go. Keep the hair blowing. Really wow. Wanted, like turned under, but you forgot your face. You know, don't forget your face because you already know how to work that. Okay, Claire. Give me that big smile again, Claire, okay? <laughs> wow. That's pretty. You had that little secret something coming out of your eyes. I like that. Woo! Nice. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Great. Everyone's having fun. Okay. 
This is great. I also think having Elle there, Mr. J has to be a little bit more serious because she's taking this very seriously. I was prepared for the worst, but so far, I, this is good. I can't believe I'm saying that, but this is actually turning out good. Oh my God, I'm gonna get sick, honey. I can't feel I'm gonna get sick. You're sick. You get sick. I hate. Yeah, I hate. Wow. Yeah, you have to hold on now. Okay, okay I got it. That, that looks look? really good, actually. It's perfect. It's skinny. Are so you ready to jump up there? Uh, if I can yeah. get up here. Yeah, you're I like that they mixed it with Whitney clothing. Whitney was probably dealing with one of the most difficult outfits. It was really constrained and tight. Just wiggle it out for yes. a second, Whitney. Yeah. Just wiggle yeah. it out. Yeah. Lean forward towards me a little bit, too. Beautiful. Okay, not ripping clothes. <laughs> well done, you. good. I love her. Oh, my God. I love her there. Oh. That, see... If this was the setup for every photo shoot, I would love it because I feel like with her being there, she's really taking care of the girls. And shes it's nice to see her interact with them. She's helping Whitney down. You would never see Mr. J. Did Mr. J even leave where he was standing? No. Notice how the girls just seem more comfortable that Al is there. She's giving them great tips. She's helping them. I lo I'm loving this so far. Okay, not repeat She's helping her. So Mr. J is just in the back like this. <laughs> yeah. You know, Doesn't move a muscle. He's like, oh, she's got it. She's got it. Let her do all that. I'm not being paid any extra for this. She's, he's just, Mr. J will will not move unless he is compelled to, unless she's, even after the, the girls have fallen off the boat, probably then he'll be like, just toss a, a life boat, whatever. What was, do they have, she can swim. She's a good swimmer. We saw it in, in her quiz. We, we, we made her take an 80 page quiz. <laughs> Yeah, beautiful, beautiful profile. Like I love that. her. She looks like a Mark statue. Maybe if she kicks her legs up. Yes. Like that. Yeah. Yes. That's beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, very long. And... The thing is, is that we just have to be careful that it doesn't look too tacky. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, love that. I, see, I love her, her perspective. Elle is literally carrying this entire photo shoot on her back. This was the pose the photographer came up with. He thought it was great. I personally don't like it. But then watch how Elle transforms this pose. Okay, she steps in. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, very. He long. likes it. Okay. She's like, we gotta be careful. Yeah, gorgeous. And it's changed. Yeah. Look at that. Love that. This pose is a million times better. This woman should have been running this entire show. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, love that. Gorgeous. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's cute. How do you like to dress? Um, I'm very punk rock. You punk rock. She asks her what she likes to dress like. I don't care. The long hair is like yeah. Yeah. Is this is new? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't think I'm very sexy, and I don't wear lingerie, so I can't help but be nervous. Yeah. You look really pretty. Thank you. Do you feel pretty? No, I do feel pretty. I don't know if I'm, how pretty I'm gonna act. Well, pretty really comes from inner confidence. It's when you feel good about yourself. Keep it simple. Okay, you're going to want to be... I love right Al. Oh, my God. I kind of feel like Mr. J is trying to... It's hard for him to go back to his old tricks where he's trying to ruin things and sabotage because Al is taking this very seriously and she's very involved, which I like. Without Al on this photo shoot, I swear to you guys... It, this would have been a mess. The photos would have been, I don't know. The, it would not be the same type of energy. Okay, you're going to want to be back right here in the middle, okay? This, not so much my style. <laughs> I'm worried I'm going to fall over because I'm not so good in heels. I want to bring the legs out a little more, a little more strength. I was a little concerned when Lauren stepped on set. She's just awkward and really is not embracing her new makeover. Let us feel the power of Marvita on the lens. Give us direct to the camera, not afraid of anything. There you go. I love that energy. Yes. There you go. Now I'm going to towards me. Nice. I love her. Are you serious? Get warm inside? I've never heard those words before during a photo shoot that was freezing. Okay. This woman is an angel. She's huddling up the girls right after they, after they finish. And she's helping them inside because she said it's warmer. I can't even, I, I don't even believe what I'm hearing. What is this, the right show? Okay, yes, it is. It feels like a completely different show. I'm not even going to lie to you. It doesn't even feel like America's Next Top Model. Is Tyra going to be mad because this is going well? I don't know. I just feel like they are not inviting her back for another episode. That's for sure. Oh my God, you've been practicing. I have. 
Simple as, not too intense. <laughs> I've been practicing my facial expressions in the mirror and my experience compared to the other girls is obviously at an automatic advantage. <laughs> oh, it sucks to be them because they're gonna suck at their photo shoot and I'm not. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> So did she just say they're going to suck at their photo shoot and I'm not? Okay, Allison. Look, I'm not going to hit on the confidence, but this is America's Next Top Model. Okay, no one's going to do well in anything. And the judges are going to make sure of that. Okay, so I think you're on the wrong show for this type of confidence. Uh, it's too, too aware. Too they're aware going to make that. sure, just, be, just because she said that, they're going to make sure she does terrible. Mark my words. They're like, oh, she has, she thinks she's going to do well. She's the, that's the target for today's episode, Allison. This is where the sabotage comes in. Everyone watch, watch and learn, everyone. Uh, it's too, too aware, too aware now. Just can't, yeah. Have you been practicing downstairs more. in the mirror? Because right now you're giving me this, you're giving me this, you're giving me this. It feels so steady. It just kind of stands straight to the camera. Well, now you're posing again. You yeah. went like this and then you went. Just this. <laughs> you No, she's posing, unfortunately. We'll see at panel. We never know for sure what they're going to say, but in my mind, I think I nailed it. Did we watch the same photo shoot? Now, look, I don't think she did terrible, but I definitely think there was sabotage going on. Mr. J. Now, when Mr. J is too involved and he starts having a dialogue with the girls, that's when you know trying to trip him up because what do you do what do you do when someone is focused on doing a good job you interrupt their focus by talking asking them questions it's just about interrupting and redirecting their focus to something else so they do worse l was present for all the other photo shoots but not for allison's it seems like let me go back did was she there and i didn't see her because she never said anything i'm not <laughs> i gotta see this camera I well, don't see Elle again. anywhere. Like this, and then you went. I don't see her. You cold? No, she's posing, unfortunately. We'll see. Ooh. There's nothing they love more on America's Next Top Model than taking confident women and then, you, and then really pulling the rug from under them. And again, Elle is nowhere to be found. Why would she be missing from this one photo shoot with Allison? Hmm. And it seems a little bit too convenient, don't you think? Mr. J is not going to try to sabotage this model with Elle standing right there, okay? Because she's taking this very seriously, and I have a feeling if she was there, she would not have let this happen. But in my mind, I think I nailed it. Inshallah. <laughs> I hope that they like the pictures. You know, it's kind of cute. I'd love to see oh, a little bit of your you. backside. Roll around your back Ooh. towards us. The other way. No, roll around. Push that leg back farther out. No, no. Beautiful. Where's Elle? Why do you want to see more of her backside? Do you guys see the difference between when Elle was there, the energy of the photo shoot, and now Elle, I don't see her anywhere. And when she wasn't there, things got reckless. The second Elle stepped out, Mr. J's like, okay, guys, it's go time. Let's do this, guys. We only have... She's coming, we have five minutes, okay, to do this, to, have it, to ruin her life. Okay, everyone, are you in position? Okay, you're gonna do a zoom in? Okay, give her confusing directions and just keep repeating yourself and don't really go into details. Just And then just look at her, just stare at her for a few minutes and don't say anything, okay? And then you, sir, over there, you're gonna like blow some extra wind on her, make sure she's really cold. And then you, sir, you're gonna tell her, ask her if she was studying in the mirror downstairs, even though we already know that she was, but we're just gonna doubt her entire existence Okay, and everyone action. That's exactly what happened. Tell me otherwise, okay? Beautiful. Wow. No, it looks great. She looks like a superhero doll. Oh, I love those eyes. Great shot. Yeah. down. There you go. Very go strong. inside and get warm. <laughs> yeah. And I know you can give me the... But I want to see all the different sides of Dominique today. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm going to nail this photo shoot. So I'm ordained to be here, and it's going to happen. I'm going to be America's Next Top Where's Model. Where's Because I'm high fashion. Your left hand, the way it's resting on the knee, just feels a little catalog-y. You don't have to be anything other than yourself. Thank God she's Oh, drop it. Just went catalog on. Right there. Dominique tries so hard, but she didn't have anything at all. Her shoot was terrible. It just looks like it belongs in a catalog. You'll turn your look into something that's commercial. I'm oh sorry. Oh, my God. 
you can tell it's crushing her to hear this. Oh my God. To say that it was terrible, it's not going well because Mr. J is in charge now, it seems like. And the pose from the beginning, I didn't like revise it, revise it. I think they have the girls they want to do well and they have the girls they don't want to do well and they want to make sure they don't get a good picture. And you'll see with the direction, which girl's which. You'll turn your look into something that's commercial. I'm sorry. The fact that he said commercial made me just want to freak out. I'm like, that's not going to sound good in panel. Technically, it is commercial photography because you're trying to sell the lingerie and the look. So that's actually a good thing here. They always try to say commercial photography like it's bad. Did he have to say the photo shoot was terrible? No, because you're the you're the one directing it, Mr. J. You were the one giving her advice. So if things got worse, you have yourself to blame. You've done a wonderful job today, all of you. And I appreciate your support. She's and an angel. My bras and knickers too. Elle is so cool. I love her. I've never met anybody that nice. Thank you. Especially on this show. She took the time to to tell the models that she appreciates them and thank you. Give this woman a lifetime award of some, I don't know. She just seems like an amazing person. This woman is too good for this show. Did you guys hear what she said? Did you guys hear what she said? I'm going to play it one more time. And I appreciate your support. I appreciate your support and selling my bras and knickers. I think that's a British... Australian thing? Knickers? She admits this is to sell her clothing, which is commercial. Which is commercial photography. Thank you so much. Okay. Mr. J, do you want to revise what you told Dominique? I'm just saying. If Elle is not on this judging, I might not even watch it. I might not. I might. This is this might be the last video you see from America's Next Top Model. She's not there. Who are these girls? I have no idea who the hell they are. I know. I'm not happy with this. I'm, where's, where is she? Is she going to pop out from the... Surprise. Why would she not be there? I'm personally offended right now that she's not there. I'm going to continue, but I'm not happy. All right. So all of you girls had a photo shoot this week on a yacht with the Brooklyn Bridge as your background, sporting Miss L. McPherson's intimates. Are you ready to see your best shot? Definitely. Wow, okay. Very nice. I like the background. The crop is a little close. I think because they had that platform, they didn't want it to show, so they cropped it in. I have to see the rest. I have to see the rest. The look in your eyes are, are great. I think your expression is real, and it's, you know, you, you look very sexy, but I think the body needs some work. You had a, a tough time kind of getting into the moment. Thanks, Amos. Thank you, guys. Okay. Just push your shoulders back and put your hands on your hips. There you go. Stick one leg out. Toss your hair back. This is how you look. Is this good? Just kind of... Hey. Okay. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah, hold that. Okay, I'm going to hold it. Okay. okay, who on earth who chose this picture? It doesn't even show the clothing, really. The sun is covering some of it. Next is Marvita. So let's see that horse mane hair out to the side. Ooh. Here's your best shot, Marvita. I don't like the platform that they shot on. I just, I don't know. It's okay. Like, I, I, I like the light. I like the contrast. I don't know. It's okay. Like, I, I don't know what to say. Stunning. I think you were very stiff in the beginning, but then towards the end, when you didn't try quite so hard, you nailed it. You look like a panther in the urban jungle. It's, it's a panther. Ah. All right, thank you very much. Up next is Claire. You were the challenge winner, so congratulations this week. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Are you ready to see your best shot? I am. There's a reason why. Why are they picking these pictures? Who who is in charge? <laughs> Who's in charge of the final photos? Oh, it literally says I chose this picture. Tyra, is it you? Could it be that you're picking these pictures? Now everything's starting to make sense. There's a reason why I chose this picture because the eyebrow is very good, but you have to learn how the to give eyebrow? An eyebrow intensity but relax your mouth. And Christy so she Jones chose that whole me. picture because of an eyebrow. 
I yeah, of course. I was you guys. I was gonna say. I think that's genius because I also. That's the first thing that I saw that her eyebrow hairs, and I was like, "That's the shot. That's what's gonna sell this bra and underwear." The eyebrow is very good, but you it's have incredible. to learn how to give an eyebrow intensity, but relax. You your relax mouth. your mouth. And that's what I was gonna say. The queen of that. She knows how to raise that eyebrow. She raises she her eyebrow. She relaxes her mouth, and it just is yeah. absolutely beautiful in pictures. It's beautiful. I agree Thank with everything she Fatima. said. Hi, Fatima. Why don't you shake it out just a little bit, though? Just shake it, it out. Too stiff. Yeah. Yeah, that's so Too much stiff. more modelly, just more relaxed. Yeah. She, right, you gotta be. You gotta. Here's the thing. You can't. You can't show up to panel being stiff, okay? Yeah, that's so much more modelly, just more relaxed. I right, agree. Let's see your best so shot. much more. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, why did they do that? Was the quickest zoom in ever. They're like, they just zoomed in. I'm like, relax a little bit. Best picture so far. I don't even have to see the full picture for the for 0.5 seconds anymore. This is the best picture. If this is not my mentor, Miss Iman, I don't know who is. I have an issue with your legs. It looks like you, your, your feet got super glued together. What? You have no idea what to do with your legs in a picture. You model from the waist up. No, I don't agree. <laughs> it was all right. I, I no. <laughs> what is she doing? Girl, <laughs> not good. Up next is What? Hello. I thought it was fine. Hello. Hi, brunette. This is a great picture, too. I love how she's looking to the side. I love her arm placement. I think it's a good photo. Oh, girl, I knew you want to give a sex kitten. It just makes you look like what you and I used to seeing in the East. It's a little like a mail order bride number one. Okay, up next is Stacey. What? Look at her with. What do you mean? Wait, wait, what do you mean used to seeing in the East and mail order bride? Okay, up next is Stacey Ann. Look at her with that short hair showing that bone structure. Turn to the side. Nice to see the beautiful face. Well, let's see how you did. Look at those legs kicked okay. up like that. I think, you I think it's a cool picture. The neck. You have this lovely jaw. And, you know, we want to see that. We want to see it's the like, line of It's that. like a Paulina jaw. Yes, like it's where like they, It is. Like, it's like it mine, is. But <laughs> up next is Where's Al? Hi, Dominique. Hello. Here is your best shot. Where's Al? Because this... Things are getting out of control on this panel. We need, we need L ASAP. I don't know where she is. You better bring her back, okay? I have more dimples than you have there. And when I'm modeling and I have to sit down on a ground, you pull that booty away from the camera. You know, everybody has their little extra juicy spots that need to be sort of pushed back a little bit. Your film to me looked like the newspaper models, like, you know, the sale is coming on Sunday. You have a cockiness that you need to pull into your photos. Because right now, looking at your film, it does, I don't see all that swagger. Thank you very much. Thank you. Did she just say the newspaper, a newspaper sale model? She is trying to drag Dominique down to the pizza rats in the New York City subway. Wherever they, I don't know where the, where are the rats these days? The pizza rats. I don't know, but they're looking for Dominique as per Tyra's orders. So Tyra says, oh, I have more dimples than you have there. They retouched most of this picture, but then left this, this area. Why? Why not just retouch the rest of the picture? They kept it in so that they can criticize her for it. Tyra says that she looks like a newspaper model. And coupled with Mr. J's comment about her looking too commercial, they are really trying to defeat Dominique's confidence. Okay, this is how they do it. They give you, like when you're someone who has confidence in something, the worst thing someone can say to you is you're an amateur, that you don't know what you're doing. You Oh, you're supposed to be experienced. I'm not seeing that. Is to question your abilities, okay? to question your confidence in that area. And that's what they're doing right now. Okay, Amy, here is your best shot. You're having wow. Kind of skin, goodness me. Okay, that Amy. Being said, I think you really need to push it a bit more. Really ex extend if your arms are a little higher, there's a little bit more action in it. Amy, I think with a little twist to those hips, you would have knocked this one out of the park. Weren't you the photographer, sir? I love how he's giving, I know this man is not giving constructive feedback after the photo shoot's done. I don't want to hear anything else from this man. That's it. All right.
right, Anya, look at you, the nymph with the nice blonde hair. I think this is really beautiful. Thank you. Anya. I really like it. It's really like sophisticated, but like playful at the same time. Your accent is even stranger now with the light hair. <laughs> stranger. The shot has great energy. Oh, wow. But it's not as beautiful as you are. I think this picture is ferocious. I think it is fierce. She looks cute. Thanks. Thank That's you. Right. Up next is. Why would she say her accent is even stranger? Because she has blonde hair. If Elle was on panel, she would not let that comment slide, okay? I just know it. What is that even supposed to mean, that her accent is stranger because of her blonde hair? It was. It's always going to be the same accent. Tyra, she's bilingual. Up next is Allison. I almost didn't know who you were, girl. You look so soft and pretty. I know. <laughs> thank you. He's also the perfect answer. Yeah, I'm waiting for the thank you. Is it coming? Taken, taken as the princess that deserves it, right? No, it's still not coming. It, did, it didn't, didn't actually uh, register, did it, there? Oh, my God. Oh. They are waiting for her gratitude to surface so that she can thank them for ruining her hair. Tyra was expecting this heartfelt, you know, groveling, maybe some tears. Maybe she's going to name her newborn after the panel. I Look, I don't know, but they got absolutely nothing from this model. In fact, the model internalized the compliment and she she's like, you know, I'm going to just keep it for myself. Thank you. I can't, I can't even hate on that, to be honest with you. Tyra wants more gratitude, more humbleness. But she just said someone has a strange accent, so I'm not willing to go there. Is it coming? <laughs> Taken no. as the princess that deserves it, right? Uh, Gotta move on. It didn't, it didn't actually uh, register. And it, it never will. Just move on. <laughs> she is modeling the bra in the underwear. I think she did a good job, honestly. This is one of the better ones. I see it very clearly. The light is amazing. She looks good. I like her pose. She did a good job. Beautiful legs. And your eyes just look a little far away. No, well, ultimately, yeah, you've got a great body. You've got all the assets to make this work. But, but you didn't you say thank you. Work. You're just standing there and you're kind of rocking with the boat. Doesn't have any passion. The lights are on, but no one's home in this picture. Mr. You J took this picture. What do you mean? What do you mean the lights are on, but no one's home? You've literally. This is your picture, sir. Listen, no, if I were, if, if I photographed an image and it went up there, best believe, I'm not saying, I'm going to be like, that's the best picture. That is beautiful. Who took that? That's amazing. That is incredible. I'm going to sit back, relax, and enjoy my photos. He's way too comfortable roasting his own photography. We're all different. We're all different. Mr. J said that your posing felt studied and too forced, and when you practice your posing actually too much before the shoot, you need to be more natural. All right, Allison, thank you. Hey. And last but not least, it's is good that she's practicing. Hello. Look at that blonde, pretty hair. Well, that's a huge change. <laughs> I love it. I'm, okay, this one isn't, you know, I don't think it's showing the lingerie, really. Not one of my favorite photos. I was unhappy with your film. Part of it not, is not even your fault. I, I agree. through all of it, and I was like, where's her booty? Where's her stomach? I want to see her legs. And you were still covered up, and I was really unhappy with that. I even talked to the stylist, when I'm like, why are you covering her up like that? Like, you have a gorgeous body. You want to see the booty. You are a beautiful <laughs> woman. No question booty. about it. This is just not your great shot. Thank you. So now it's time for... Oh. Tyra talked to the stylist. Okay. That's interesting. Tyra said that she talked to the stylist. She was very unhappy that Whitney was more covered up. You know, listen, I agree. I feel like if all the other girls are wearing the, the full sets, I think that Whitney should also be able to wear the full sets. So I like that she did that. It shouldn't be just like, okay, let's cover her body because she has a different body shape. If Whitney is comfortable, I see no problem with that. She obviously doesn't know her angles yet. She doesn't know what she's got. And Emma seems kind of lost in front of me. Lauren! It's really the most beautiful thing about a beautiful woman is her flaws. And that's what makes a girl interesting. And she's interesting. She's one of those girls that just fierce, fierce. My vida. Okay. This is one of the strongest pictures. It works with the environment probably better than almost anybody else's. Yeah. The next yeah. step is Claire. The outcome of this is a little bit disappointing, but she was really great to work with. I don't think this picture really does her justice. Fatima! What are you, ta what are you talking about? Well, like he's joking. Did he just say, I don't think this picture does her justice? It's your picture. 
you're responsible for the for this commercial photo shoot of Elle's brand of lingerie. He like lit the fire and then he's like walking away like he had nothing to do with it. He's like, that's not my responsibility. Fatima, not a wonderful shot. If you want to be a model, you've got to really go for it. it take you she the had the best picture, sorry. Fatima. No. This that was beautiful. Russian mail order bride. It's just tacky. So you were shooting her with your loins, not your camera. What? Russian mail order bride? Isn't it crazy how Paulina just says the shot is tacky? And again, this the photographer who shot it is sitting right there. And he's just, again, he's just like, I have nothing to do. What is, I have nothing to do with this. I'm simply a guest. So you were shooting her with your loins, not your camera. It does happen sometimes. <laughs> what? Wait. Oh my God. This. Where's Al? Al, I need you. Al, where are you? This gets worse and worse as we go. You should not be saying any of this. Is all I'm gonna say. That's not Stacey funny. Ann. She's got that famous Paulina jaw, so obviously she's just gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> How did you and Rick create a black baby? Well, you know, it took a lot of work, but we did it. <laughs> Dominique. She's yeah. finished. And it can be. I look at her and I see soccer mom and I see nothing further. Honestly, I thought what? she was someone's mom coming to pick her up on the set. And then I saw the lingerie and I go, whoa. Amy! Just tra Sir, no. Oh, I know you're not going to talk about the models and call her a soccer mom when... W no. No. You're not going to sit here for a photographer to talk about the models like that. And these models worked really hard, okay? It was probably really cold. And maybe they weren't comfortable in the laundry, but you know what? They got up there and they worked hard. They did what they were supposed to do. And now we have the photographer calling, calling them soccer mom and kind of just poking fun at each girl. I'm disappointed by this shot. She could have done better, all that. It's very, it, it's disappointing to me that they would be talking like this. To talk about the models that you worked with, they didn't do anything to you. Just transparently beautiful. The red hair suits her beautifully. I love that with her skin color. Anya, I think Anya's She's gorgeous. Got great potential, but she has a weird accent. Oh my god! I really like it. It's Who really cares? Like That's her accent. Here. She almost Come sounds on. like she is on some sort of sleep medication with a Jamaican accent. Oh god. Yeah. Are you supposed to talk Alice. about the picture? She poses too much and becomes too caught up in it. I think Allison is actually conceited. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. No idea when to say thank you. She really? was tough to shoot. It's interesting because she has the most experience out of all the girls, but is not popping. When you're watching the show back, notice that if any girl says that she has experience or she's done modeling previously, that model is always picked on for not doing as well as she could have. They always make it a point to make sure she doesn't do well. Isn't it so ironic that they're saying that this Allison is conceited because she won't say thank you? You gave her the compliment and you were expecting something back, okay? Don't have any expectations, please. They just got finished calling someone a soccer mom, saying, making fun of someone's accent, and then saying that, oh, she's a Russian mail order bride. But no, the girl who doesn't say thank you to a little compliment. That's, that's the girl who's conceited. That's the one who needs to be humble and say thank you and be gracious. Please have some, humble yourself, please. I think Allison is actually conceited. Uh -huh. Yes. Cool. No idea. I wonder where she gets it from. You. She was tough to shoot. It's interesting because she has the most experience out of all the girls, but she was tough to shoot. Popping. Whitney, I wanted to see her booty. Fill my booty. Fill my booty. That's she wants what I to, see to see Whitney's see. booty. Fill it, Nigel. Tuck it back. Tuck it back. What is going yes. on? Goodness, I am flushing. <laughs> okay. Can you just let's who gets eliminated? Let's let's end this because I'm done. Before we see who gets eliminated for no reason, today's video was sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for you to build your business and brand online. If you have a vision, make it come to life using Squarespace. I currently have my photography website using Squarespace. And what I love the most about it is if I ever wanna change up the look of my website, I can do that with a click of a button using one of the many designer templates that they offer. You can see how your website looks before it even goes live. You can test out different templates, see how your website looks. Another feature is the gallery options that they offer. For a photographer, it's very important how my images look on my website. I can have them stacked. I can have them as a carousel. I can show before and afters. 
of whatever I want. I can even adjust the space between each picture with just a simple slider. You can even make a store on Squarespace. You can sell your digital goods, you can sell merch, whatever you're thinking, you can do so using Squarespace. And another feature that I love is the calendar availability. You can show this to your clients. It shows a calendar of what days you're available and they can book you through that, which I think is super, super helpful, especially as a photographer. But you don't have to be a photographer to be using Squarespace. If you're an artist or anyone who has a vision for something, you can use Squarespace for that. You can start a free trial by going to squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica. Use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All the information will be in the description. Now let's see if Allison is going home like I think she is. Allison is going to be in the bottom too because she didn't say thank you and because she's conceited. That's pretty much, she's going home, okay? They're going to teach her a lesson. Will Dominique and Allison please come forward? I knew it. I knew it. Dominique, the girl that speaks in the third person all the time. Dominique is this. Dominique is that. Look at all this. How can any of this go wrong? This is perfect. But as you've seen, two weeks in a row, it's not perfect. And then we have Allison. She didn't Allison, say thank the you. the girl that came into this competition so cocky because she had more experience than the other girls. And one of our judges said that you don't know two words. Thank you. Is <laughs> that big of a deal? So who stays They're in so mad. <laughs> Dominique. Oh my God. <laughs> this poor girl. You, She's so never much. gonna say thank you again. You're gonna remain in this competition for at least another week and you're gonna have the hair color that I told them that you should have. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming But you called her a soccer mom team. because of that haircut. Okay. Hi, Hi, mom. Mom. You can't let this break you. You've had modeling experience. You felt rejection, yeah. but it doesn't mean that you're not good enough. It doesn't mean that you're not beautiful. And it doesn't mean that you're oh not going to be a model. Oh, wow, her reaction. That really, that, you can, like, I, I could feel it just from watching that it really affected her. Tyra had to really switch up and be like, you know, don't worry, because she realized how strong of a reaction this had on her. That was kind of intense, I'm not going to lie. Her reaction, I don't think that Tyra was expecting that. She really, re that hit her hard. That hit Allison hard. All this because she didn't say thank you. If she said thank you, would she still be in the competition? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Don't forget to say thank you to Nigel and Tyra. And I'll see you guys in my next video.